questions like finding the number of license plates that can be made given a certain format is exactly like the question, if a boy owns two pairs of pants, three shirts, eight ties, and two jackets, how many different outfits can he wear if he must wear one of each item? This one people don't usually have trouble with. This is simply two, since there's two pairs of pants, three for three shirts, eight for eight ties, and two for two jackets. We multiply those together and get 96 different outfits. Really, the license plates works the same way. So let's look at plates in the state of Maryland. Currently, they're one number followed by two letters and then four other numbers. When I'm solving these kinds of problems, I draw these little empty boxes, kind of like one is a pair of pants, one is a shirt, etc. One is the first letter or number in the license plate, then there's the second, then there's the third, etc. So let's start filling these in. The first two I'm going to do are the letters that go in spots two and three. There are 26 letters. There's no lowercase letters in license plate, so there's only 26 of them. Now, the first number cannot be zero. That means it can be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. There's nine digits that are not zero. However, the last four digits can include zero, so there's going to be 10 different options for those slots. So, just like I did with the outfit, I'm going to multiply these numbers together. That's the fundamental principle of counting. So, 9 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to an awfully big number, or over 60 million license plates. Maryland, I guess, needs more license plates because more and more people are having multi-car families. And I'm sure the state did this calculation before deciding on how to set up their license plates.